back to Congressman Benny Thompson uh, from Mississippi. Uh, Congressman, back in 2011, Roy Moore said that uh, it would uh, eliminate, in his words, eliminate many problems uh, to get rid of all of the constitutional amendments after the 10th Amendment. And we know what many of those amendments were all about. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think he's saying and doing who he is. Uh, someone who tries to legitimize family values from the term of slavery uh, is not someone who should be in the United States Senate. Uh, Senator Shelby's point was well made. Uh, I think he is someone who's a seasoned politician, but at the end of the day, uh, he wants what's best for Alabama and he wants what's best for the United States of America. And someone who has a history of messing with young girls, being banned from malls, all those kind of things create enough doubt and suspicion in the minds of a lot of us to say that all things being equal, he should not be here. So uh, tomorrow is the day, Wolf. A lot of work going on. Uh, you know, our president has changed uh, his mind and decided to weigh in. Uh, other Democrats on the other side are doing uh, the same thing. But at the end of the day, uh, it's who can go in that ballot box on tomorrow uh, with a clear conscience and vote for the best person. Alabama has a uh, voter ID law, as you know, uh, no early voting. How do you think those measures could impact turnout tomorrow? Well, it could very well. A lot of us have historically uh, said voter ID uh, is a method of dumb and down uh, turnout. Uh, we think it is still there. Uh, but clearly, I see enough interest among people who have been historically disenfranchised that they need to go and send a message uh, to the more effort that your kind is not wanted here in this state. And I'm convinced that Republicans in Alabama, uh, some might stay home, some will go to the ballot box, and at the moment of casting that ballot, they'd say, I can't do that. And so I'm optimistic. Uh, I think the case has been made. Uh, the facts have been put there. But when I saw a lot of the interviews of local individuals justifying uh, an assistant district attorney quoting a 14-year-old as something that we used to do. That's not who we are. That's not the values of this country. So I'm convinced when people look at those type programs and those type uh, commercials and those type interviews, they will say, that's not who we are, and we'll do better. Congressman, uh, you boycotted uh, President Trump's appearance at the opening of the Mississippi Civil Rights Center. Museum over the weekend in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, I, I wonder if you listened to the president's remarks and do you feel like you did the right thing with hindsight? Well, there's no question about it. Uh, from all indication, uh, he came uh, to do a cameo. Uh, I didn't want to be a, a prop, nor did John Lewis want to be a potted plant uh, for President Trump. He has no civil rights record. There's nothing in terms of redeeming value uh, that he gives to a civil rights museum. So for the, all we could do was to say those of us who have worked and labored in the vineyard all our life trying to empower people, the last thing we want to do is stand shoulder to shoulder with an administration that's doing all this can to undergird civil rights uh, enforcement efforts here in this country. Uh, to take down the civil rights enforcement with respect to education. And so uh, an administration that's not civil, an administration that's not doing right by its people, uh, does not deserve to be on the same podium with those civil rights heroes and sheroes of the state of Mississippi. Congressman Benny Thompson, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.